Hey everybody, Colby here um, with another edition of the Butcher Secret Steak uh, demo. And this week we're gonna do the skirt steak. Skirt steak, amazing steak, super flavorful. Just like all our steaks, you just gotta cook it right, you gotta let it rest, you gotta slice it against the grain, and it's gonna be amazing. Super popular down in Latin America for good reason. It's just so tasty, um, so tender. It's the original fajita meat. Um, you use it for fajitas, tacos, um, stir fry. It's delicious. Um, and this just made a quick little demo here. We got a, a, a pork midsection to explain where it comes from. So the shoulder would be here, the leg would be here, and here's your midsection here. So on beef, this would be ribeye, it's your pork chops. And then here's gonna be your, your loin or your short loin section. So your strip loin's there. The side ribs are right here. This is your back ribs, these are side ribs. At the end of the side ribs, where they end, there's the skirt steak, the inside and the outside. So there is debate on whether, which one's better. Um, I'd say that they're pretty equal for the most part. The outside is bigger and thicker, the inside's smaller. That's what I think is the main difference. And to get it off, like I said, it's gonna be a quick demo here. Take that off. And again, just following the seams. Once you can identify where that skirt is, all it is is just following the seams to take it off. Of course, I'm using my left hand a lot for leverage. And this butt's right up against your butt and ribs, right at the end of the side ribs. If you're getting side ribs and you get this whole piece with, the, with these small cartilage ribs on, that's gonna be known as the Kansas style rib. If you're cutting it right there, the nice square cut can be the St. Louis cut. Either way, which one, if you're getting a, a, a Kansas style, you might get a bit of the outside skirt on. If you're getting the uh, St. Louis style, we like to leave a bit of the skirt on because it's delicious. Like, why wouldn't you? Maybe uh, we don't really sell pork skirt steak, so it's good to leave on there. Um, then from there, there's going to be a little cleaning to do, but we already did that with the beef, so we're just going to skip right to it. And this is what it looks like when it's nice and clean, all ready for the grill. Um, when you cook it, you just want to use salt and pepper. Like I said, with, with all our secret steaks, it's not a matter of um, marinating it. They're not tough. It's just a matter of cooking it right, letting it rest, slice it against the grain. Those three things will be your keys to success. With any of these secret steaks, that any of these cuts that are lesser known, they're going to be good as long as you follow those three rules. With the skirt steak, I can't say that there's an exact measurement of time between cooking on one side and the other side. I would say that they're different shapes and sizes, so that's gonna sort of dictate how you're gonna cook it. But I would cook it, pot it fast, get some good grill marks, slice against the grain, um, and then after, that's probably when I would want to put my sauce on, like a chimichurri or a, whatever kind of sauce you put on there. That's that's gonna do it. But I like I like the taste of the skirt, so I'm just putting salt and pepper on it. I want to taste that meat, it's absolutely delicious. And with that being said, I think we pretty much got that covered. Um, it's gonna be one dollar off a pound this week, so come on down and uh, check it out. Thanks for watching, have a great weekend.